boils law take a few seconds off to do the simple activity take a deep breath hold on count 5 and then breathe out why did your chest expand as you inhaled and why did it contract when you exhaled yes that's boils law in action click next to know what's in store In this module, you will be learning about the first of the simple gas laws, Boyle's law, that concerns with the relationship between pressure and volume of a given gas. At the end of the learning section, you will have a simulated interactive exercise to guide you through the concept further. Your performance will be elicited with the help of a conceptual example in the form of a numerical. You will then be ready to take a simple assessment of your comprehension. Finally, you will explore a few practical applications of this law. Air is a gas. Gases have various properties that can be observed with our senses. The gas pressure, temperature, mass and volume are the variables that are related to one another. Let us observe what happens when the volume and pressure are the variables while temperature and mass of the gas are constant. Look at the image on your screen carefully. You have a cylinder containing a fixed amount of dry gas at a given temperature. That is, the temperature and mass of the gas are constant. The pressure of the gas in the cylinder is 4 atmospheres. Observe the volume occupied by the given mass of gas. Now click on the weights to reduce the pressure on the cylinder. The pressure is now 2 atmospheres. Observe the change in the volume of the gas in the cylinder. It has doubled. Let's reduce the pressure further. Click on the weights. The pressure is now reduced to 1 atmosphere. The volume has doubled again. We observe that as the pressure was successively halved, the volume doubled. As the pressure reduced, the volume increased. If the pressure is decreased by one half, the volume will double. Conversely, if the pressure on a given amount of gas is doubled, its volume will decrease by one half, as long as the temperature of the gas remains unchanged. Thus, volume is inversely proportional to the pressure and the product of pressure and volume is a constant. Mathematically, this relationship can be expressed as P into V is equal to K. Where V is the volume, K is the Boltzmann's constant equal to 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 and P is the pressure. Here is another activity to help you understand the relationship between the pressure P and the volume V of a confined gas held at a constant temperature. Remember that the number of moles or mass of gas is also a constant. The syringe contains a fixed number of moles of a gas at constant temperature. It is airtight and fixed to a pressure gauge. When the plunger is dragged, the volume of the gas varies in the syringe. Observe the corresponding deflections in the pressure gauge. On releasing the mouse button, the value of the pressure and volume gets recorded and displayed in the table.
In the mid 1600s, Robert Boyle studied the relationship between the pressure P and the volume V of a confined gas held at a constant temperature. Boyle observed that temperature remaining constant, the volume of a given mass of dry gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. That is, V is proportional to 1 by P. The product of the pressure and volume is nearly a constant at constant temperature. P into V is equal to K, where K is a constant of proportionality called the Boltzmann's constant. At constant temperature, if a given mass of gas occupies a volume V1 at pressure P1 and if it changes to V2 at pressure P2, then according to Boyle's law, P1 V1 is equal to K and P2 V2 is equal to K or P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 is equal to K. Remember that you can use any unit of pressure or volume in your calculations so long as the same units are used consistently throughout the calculation. This relationship between pressure and volume is called Boyle's law in his honor. Let's now solve a conceptual example. You are holidaying at a beach resort, which is at sea level. You buy a party balloon filled with helium to a volume of 4.5 liters. The atmospheric pressure is measured at 100 kPa. What will be the volume of the balloon if you were to take it to a mountain resort above sea level? The atmospheric pressure at this resort is 50 kPa. Assume that the temperature remains constant throughout. Application It is common knowledge that gases are highly pressurized to make them compact. The action of a syringe is another practical application of the Boyle's law. When we draw fluids into a syringe, we increase the volume inside the syringe. This correspondingly decreases the pressure on the inside, whereas the pressure on the outside of the syringe is greater. This imbalance forces the fluid into the syringe. If we reverse the action and push the plunger in, we are decreasing the volume inside, which will in turn increase the pressure making the pressure greater than on the outside and fluids are forced out. The pressure-volume relationship can be used to explain the mechanics of breathing. When we breathe in air, the chest wall expands, increasing the volume of the chest cavity. When the diaphragm rises, the chest wall contracts, reducing the volume of the chest cavity, thereby 
expelling the air. That is, as the volume varies, the pressure varies too. This brings about inspiration and expiration. Of course, all of this is totally automatic and we take this for granted until we receive a sharp blow to that region that briefly paralyzes the diaphragm muscle. We say the wind was knocked out of us, but in reality, was the Boyle's law not allowed to function? When a vessel containing a soap solution is agitated, bubbles at the bottom of the vessel are seen to increase in volume as they rise gradually to the surface. Can you say why this is so?